There is this common idea that French people, especially people from Paris, are extremely rude. But as a tour guide who've met people from around the world and seen them interact with French people, I think there's just something that gets lost in translation. So with this video, I want to uh, teach you about French etiquette and tell you about all of the faux pas that you're doing, just so that next time you come to France, you will fit right in. Bonjour everyone, my name is Lola, welcome to The Hungry Parisian. With this channel, I want to bring a little bit of France to you, so if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. Visiting Paris is the dream for a lot of people, but from time to time, they can get a little bit sore when they start talking to French people because some things are just not the same in your country that it is in France. And that's why I want to tell you a little bit more about what not to do to make sure that when you come to France, you won't have any problem with this uh, etiquette rules. It's something that we don't like a lot in France uh, when people get too friendly. That's the main thing. Do not be too friendly with French people. The reason for that is because for us, you are friendly with your friends, not with strangers. If you want to ask something, you know, you ask for it and then that, that's it, you know, end of the conversation. If you start being like, oh, like, hi, how are you? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be like, what are you doing? Like, get away from me. <laughs> that's just something that's going to happen. And don't take it the wrong way if people do that. It's not because we're rude. It's because it's not something that is in our culture. Another thing that is very big and that I found mostly when I'm doing my tours and I'm taking my uh, guests into a small shop or boutique is that uh, a lot of people don't say bonjour when they enter into a shop. And I get it, you know, if you go to a huge store or a department store, this sort of thing, you don't say bonjour to every single one of the people working there. But when you enter into a small boutique, like for example, a chocolate shop or a boulangerie, a bakery, you have to say bonjour. And that is very important. Maybe some of you have seen the uh, TV show Emily in Paris in Netflix. And in the first episode, she goes into this bakery and the uh, lady say bonjour and Emily doesn't answer and the lady does a face. And it's something that's really going to happen. When you enter into those small shops, for people, it's like you're entering their home, their house. So they want to make sure, you know, you're going to be polite to them. Sometimes if you go into those shops and you don't say bonjour, the ladies are not going to speak to you until you say bonjour. Like, it's going to go like, you enter into the shop, they say bonjour, and you say, yeah, yeah, I want that. And they're going to be like, bonjour, bonjour, and they're going to continue saying this like, bonjour, until you answer them with a bonjour. Which you know, may seem a bit aggressive if you're uh, just entering into a shop trying to find something, but it's just, you know, common politeness for us in France, and it's something that they expect of you to do, you know, just say a little bonjour and a little au revoir when you go out, and merci. Another thing about store is if you go to a small store, there is a very high chance that it is not going to be a self-service store. This is something very important, especially in stores that sell food, such as the cheese shop, for example, or the chocolatier, that you do not help yourself. You have to ask the employee and they're going to grab things for you. I know it can seem weird and, you know, kind of counterproductive as to go a little bit faster, but there's a reason for that. The first reason is because of hygiene. Simple, a lot of those products are not uh, conditions already, you know, they, because the shops want to showcase how beautiful those products are. So the shopkeeper have to take the products, usually, you know, with gloves or with like tongs and things like that, and wrap it in something so that you can take it home. It once happened to me, you know, that uh, I was with customers, we were going into a cheese shop, and this lady just like grabbed a piece of brie and was like, Lola, can we take this? And literally all the people, all the French people in the store were like, what did she do? I mean, it was very sweet and in the end, you know, I just bought that piece of cheese just to make sure there was no problem. It's just something that you have to be aware of. The second reason why uh, most of the time you don't uh, grab things just off the shelf like that is because uh, those employees take a very long time to, you know, put everything prettily and from time to time, you know, into like very, very high piles. So if you take like, I don't know, something like a random item from the bottom, everything could fall down. So most of the time, if you're not sure if it's self-service or not, it's better just to ask. Speaking of literally speaking, a lot of people when they come to France, they don't speak French, which is 
normal, you know, we understand that our language is not the easiest one, so it's no problem. The only thing that we ask of you is that you just don't assume that everyone speaks English, because that's not the case, and that you try to speak a little bit of French. It doesn't have to be amazing, like full sentences, but just, you know, say bonjour or this sort of thing, and always ask if somebody speaks English, uh, before speaking to them in English and please please do not speak louder when they tell you they don't understand you It is not going to solve anything and we're going to get more annoyed <laughs> now Let's talk about how you should greet people so in France everybody know of course of la bise You know, which is this sort of like fly kiss that you do like that like Obviously, you know that we did pre COVID. What is important to know is that you don't do la bise to everyone. For example, if I went into a business meeting, I would not go up to everyone and just like kiss them on the cheek. What you do is if you're in a professional setting or if you're meeting people for the very first time, it's usually better to shake their hands. Now, if you're meeting people, you know, through friends or things like that, it's better to do la bise. What is very important is if you don't want to do la bise because you feel uncomfortable, it's okay. Just tell people beforehand because one of the things that is the most awkward is when, you know, you go in for la bise and the person just like recoils in fear. It feels very silly, very awkward. And yeah, some people will find it very rude if you do that, uh, simply because for us, la bise is something traditional. It's as if you were refusing somebody's handshake. So very rude once again uh, for French people, but as long as you explain why you don't do it, it should be fine. You know, we understand. A lot of French people don't like doing la bise either, so don't worry. Another thing that can be a bit confusing, especially if you're starting to learn how to speak French, is who to address with tu or vous. So maybe you know that in French we have two ways of saying you, which is either tu or vous. Now, if you say tu, it's something very familiar. Tu is something that you would say to your uh, family, to your friends, or people that are your age or younger. Now, vous is something a bit more respectful. Vous is something that you're going to say if uh, you're meeting someone for the first time, if it's in a professional environment. And very, very important, if by any chance you're lucky enough to date a French person, the first time you meet their parents and grandparents, you should always say vous to them until they tell you to say tu. I know technically they are family, but it's just a question of respect. Just to give you an idea, when I started dating my boyfriend, I was always saying vu to his mother until about a year in the relationship when she told me that I could say tu to her. Okay, so those were the basic rules for, you know, being in society in France. Now let's talk about something very important, something that is very dear to the heart of French people, eating. Now there is a lot of rules about eating and there are different sets of rules. So let's start with going to the restaurant. So of course, if you go to the restaurant, there is a simple thing that you have everywhere. You know, do not seat yourself, wait for uh, the person working there, the hostess to sit you, just to make sure you don't bother the seating charts and everything. And another very important thing is do not eat with your hands. For example, I know that if you're getting, you know, an amazing steak and fries, you want to eat the fries with your hands, but at restaurant, except if you're a child, it's not really accepted. You are going to eat uh, with your knife and fork. Except, of course, if you go to a fast food chain. There, you can do whatever you want. We won't judge. Like, of course, if you're getting a hamburger, just eat it with your hands, you know? We are not animals. If you're sitting at the table in France, there are a few rules that you should follow. One of them is that you should not put your elbows on the tables, but you should always keep your hands on the tables. So this is a rule that actually comes from the Middle Ages. The reason for that is because during the Middle Ages, there was often, you know, those big tables where everybody would be sitting very close to each other. So you had to make sure, you know, you were not taking too much space. This is something that is very proper in uh, French education, that you should always keep your elbows tight to your body. I even had uh, a friend when I was growing up uh, whose grandmother taught her to uh, do that by putting books under her elbow when she was eating and if she was dropping the books she would not get any desserts. So yes, it is an actual thing. The other thing that I was telling you about is always keeping your hands on the table. 
The reason for that is because during the Middle Ages, you know, there was a lot of problem with poisoning, but also with hidden daggers, you know, that you could like slash into your uh, neighbors. So because of that, as a way of showing, you know, that you were here all in good faith, you had to put your hands above the table to show that you were not doing anything weird under the table. Let's talk about if you're invited to a French person house for dinner. One of the first things that you should do is ask your host or hostess what you should bring. This is just a question, you know, of politeness. I guess this is something, you know, that is true in most countries. But what is very important is unless the host asks you specifically to bring food, do not bring food. Because this is basically telling them, you know, I'm not sure you're gonna make enough food, so I'm just bringing a little bit more, just in case. And there is nothing that is going to offend a French person more than implying that they're not giving you enough food. Trust me on that. <laughs> of course, if your hostess tells you not to bring anything, it's always nice to bring a little something, just as a little thank you, uh, such as a bottle of wine or some flowers, for example. You can bring some food, but the only food that you can bring as a present is either chocolates or delicacies that they can enjoy for afterwards, you know, when they're by themselves. So for example, it could be something from your country and this is the sort of gift that French people absolutely love. Once you're at the dinner table and everything is set in front of you, of course, never start eating before everybody is served. That's just, I guess, the same in every places. And most importantly, never help yourself to anything without asking first if anybody wants some. That is for food, but that is also the case for wine or even water. That's just, you know, a very simple way of making sure that everybody has of everything. One thing to make sure of when you're inviting to a French person's house is never to arrive exactly on time. It's always good uh, to arrive 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes late. This is what we call le quart d'heure de politesse, the politeness uh, quarter of an hour. And this is basically because, you know, most of the time French person are not on time, basically. <laughs> we always have, you know, a little something more to do. So it's always better to arrive just a tad bit late, just to make sure that your host and hostess had had time to put everything down, set the table, and basically just making sure you know that it doesn't stress them out that they know that you're gonna write right on time. Once the main meals are finished, the host or hostess are going to present you with the cheese board. One thing you have to be very careful of is not to cut the cheese wrong. My advice, if you're not sure what to do, is always check, you know, with the people around you, like how they start cutting their cheese. But don't worry, I'm gonna make a full video about how to properly cut cheese, just to make sure that you guys are all set next time you're invited to a French person's house. And the most important, at the end of dinner, always thanks your hostess and host. This is something, once again, that should go without saying, but remember, this is something super important for French people that you notice the work uh, they put into making this dinner, into making sure that everything that you did is right. So those are some of the faux pas that I see people making while they come to France. And hopefully with this little crash course in French etiquette, next time you come to France, you won't have any problem fitting right in. Merci for watching this video. Remember, if you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and otherwise you can find me on Instagram at Lola the Hungry Parisian. Thank you again and au revoir!